one, let's go! Yo, listen up, about to tell you some tales of fighters and wizards, shuriken and sails. The ups, the downs, the wins, the fails, and heroes that would make the Avengers pale. Madara Uchiha, he's a goddess shinobi Dunking on allied forces hotter than freaking Kobe Heading over to Marine for ready, take the risk You see, wipe it, crack the air with one blow off his fist Brighter than the sun, hotter than you can see Oh my god, Goku just went Super Saiyan 3 With Naruto, Luffy, the Dragon Ball 7 We about to crank the speed out all the way up to 11 You just died and you about to be led in To the greatest show this side of anime heaven So sit down, stay tuned, hey yo DJ Spin Welcome to the show, this is Anime Legends Hello everybody, AfroX here, and welcome to Anime Legends. Um, I'd like to uh, welcome you all and introduce you to the subject of today's discussion. Today we will be discussing... Who is Naruto Uzumaki? Now, this discussion is going to be pretty basic. This is for all of you out there who don't really know much about anime but want to learn more. And, um, as always, I'm going to give a brief description here. But you can learn more by watching um, Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto Naruto Next Generations. Um... With that being said, let's jump right into it. Who is Naruto Uzumaki? Naruto Uzumaki is a ninja from the village hidden in the leaves, also known as Konohagakure. Um, his parents died in a tragedy uh, when he was uh, born, and he grew up with a very sad life being raised by the leader of the village, the third Hokage. And um, as he grew up, he had to face uh, many trials, uh, along with some of his teachers, Iruka-sensei and uh, Kakashi. Um, along with Kakashi, his teammates were Sasuke and Sakura. We're going to get into them in a different video, but make sure they will be, or be assured they will be discussed. Um... While he was with uh, Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke, one of the missions they went on was the mission to the Land of Waves uh, to do intel on two rogue ninjas from the uh, village hidden in the rain, Amagakure. And um, these two ninjas were known as Zabusa and Haku. They learned a lot of lessons there and um, got a lot of good out of that experience. Uh, moving forward, um, they went to take the Chunin exams, and the Chunin exams are a test that is given to all young ninjas so that they can become full-fledged ninja, uh, uh, Chunin. And um, during Naruto's uh, Chunin exam, he fought Kiba and uh, won pretty easily, and then he fought Neji. And um, he had to use a little bit of strategy and wasn't really able to get to it through luck. Or get it done through luck. Now while all of this was happening, the third Hokage um, was fighting the villain of the village, Orochimaru. And um, kind of having a hard go about it. And, um, well, this, the, okay... This was so Orochimaru attacked. Uh, while Orochimaru was fighting Hiruzen, Orochimaru summoned a giant snake to destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. Um, during this time, the Hidden Sand Village, who was also in on the attack, uh, uh, tried to um, get away, and uh, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura chased them into the woods. After a long fight, uh, and Gara unleashing the, uh, one-tailed uh, beast, um, 
they kind of came to an understanding and uh, they uh, found a way to um, make peace. Uh, after this, uh, Sasuke was asked by the village hidden in the sound, um, to come join Orochimaru, who was kind of their leader, and, uh, they knew Sasuke wanted more power, so, um, he went to go with them to go to Orochimaru, and, uh, Naruto stopped him, and, uh, he, or they had a big fight in the Valley of the End, um, Naruto unleashed uh, his um, Nine Tails Chakra and uh, pretty much rezzed him every time because Naruto got killed a number of times during that fight. Um, but Nine Tails Chakra always rez. Hashtag Nine Tails Chakra is lifeline from Apex. Um, anyways, so Sasuke is the only one up after that fight. So he goes off to join Orochimaru, and uh, Naruto goes on to um, get uh, taught new techniques by Jiraiya, who is the toad sage in the village. Um, and, uh, that's, ooh, sorry. What a yawn. That is pretty much the end of part one of Naruto. Now, Naruto goes on uh, a, a two-year time skip after this, and that's all in Naruto Shippuden, which I will get into um, in the next uh, Crap Guide video. Um, but he goes on to do a lot of stuff, uh, eventually incorporates wind style into his attacks, he uh, gets control of the uh, nine, nine Tails, and eventually, at the end, pretty much saves the entire multiverse, if we're really thinking about it. Um, but yeah, that's a crash course in who Naruto Uzumaki is. As I said before, if you want to learn more information, uh, I would definitely suggest, especially new people who are just getting into anime, I would suggest that you watch Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, um, the three great anime in that series. Um, anyways, uh, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Um, before the end card, we're going to have a quick word from our sponsor, because apparently we have a sort of a sponsor now. Um, so I will leave it to that, and I will see all of you in the next video. Date bayo! Didn't even want to come in today. Uh, okay. Didn't want to be here, but whatever. Alright, what are we looking at? Greetings, puny earthlings. This is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. I've heard for some reason you enjoy the insipid rabblings of the YouTube channel known as Afro X. You can now support the channel by clicking on the Amazon affiliate links in the description that lead to related products based on the topic of the video you're watching. It could be anime DVDs, manga, or even anime clothing. And if you buy these using this link, a portion of the profits will go to the channel. Huh. Sounds like a pretty good deal, eh, Nappa? Oh, there's more. Also, the AfroX merch store has officially opened, and you can find it at teespring.com slash stores slash AfroX dash two. Link in the description. Am I done? All I wanted to do today was play some Dead Planet Golf with Beerus, but no.